Hello and welcome to another episode of our Tottenham Save. I am Duper Daddy and in today's episode we are going to go through our Season 2 Summer Sign-Ins. Let's jump into it. In our last video we went through some of our sign-ins that we already made coming into this season. Don't know what ones I showed you but let's have a look at them again and a bit of a reminder of what we did last season as well. So our first signing as Tottenham manager, we brought in Eric Sanchez. But he was recommended by uh, one of our scouts. He, he was all right, wasn't he? He was all right. No greens. I haven't got rid of him yet, as you can see. He is in my under-21s. Hasn't played a game for us yet. But last season, he was on loan to Pachuca and for League Mexico Liga. And he did all right. He performed all right. But stats-wise and looking at his reports... He's a decent Premier League player. He could improve. But you look at him and midfield, when I've got Kamavinga, Basoma and uh, Benton Core, it's just no point having him. He's 24 as well. He's not exactly a youngster. Seven and a half million. I think I'm looking to get rid of him, to be fair. And if I can get five million, if I can get my money back, I'll be happy with that. Uh, yep, so Eric Sanchez and then we brought Marky Oko. He's always that type of player that I've never brought. I've known about him with this wonder kid over the last couple of football managers. And I was just like, I need to buy him. I need to buy him. How is he performing for us so far? If we look at last season, he played... Let's not go by this because that's the league stat. Let's go by overall. Last season, he played 12, started 12, made 15 on the bench and scored 14, played 7.12. Not bad considering he was 17. Now he's 18. He started 7, bench 12, 4 goals, 6.94. So not playing that great. And I've noticed that as well. But he's, he's not that backup striker or that upcoming. But we do have a, another upcoming player coming through. I've loaned him off. And I'm thinking in January window, it's to loan Mo Kyoko and bring up older, experienced strikers that back up. And then we have Kamavinga. What two great signings that is. So I only brought three players. Well, to be fair, two was my own going out. And I wanted these two. Didn't think I'd ever get them, to be fair, at Tottenham because the chairman's a bit tight. But then again, they spent £50 million on Ra uh, Rick Arlison. I don't blame him. He's not even a starter for me. Kamavinga, Mogiego. How has Kamavinga done for us? Again, let's go to history. Let's just look at his stats for a minute. He's 21 years old. He's going to get better and better. I am trying to push on his technical side to, in his training. And then we go to his history and played 21 games for us two off the bench, scored a few goals, played 7.07. .07. Not bad for a first season. And then this season, a little bit better on for average rating, but he started scoring a little bit more as well. 15 games, three off sub and five. I would expect more, a little bit more maybe on for this side. He is playing a Mazella. What did he do? Yeah, only one. But I don't know, he offers something to my team. And maybe I'm not playing him in for best position. Now, Benton Core has lost a bit of form. And I'm thinking about playing Basoma as that defence midfielder. And then Kamavinga as a box-to-box. -box. Kalaveski as my Mazella, because I've played him in that position a few times last season. And he did okay. And then I will move probably by a new winger, I guess. Or put Son there and then Rick Ollison on left for the rest of the season. Then we go into this season. As I said in the last video, we brought Kim Min Jae, 39 million. I felt like last season, my, my defenders, I couldn't find anyone good enough to partner Romero. So I brought in Kim Min Jae. Let's have a look at his stats. He's played 17. He's playing a 7.15 for us. Amazing. Big thumbs up. Great little signing. Yes, he's not young or anything like that, but as a centre back, I wanted that bit of experience, that premiership class. And yeah, I love his stats. Great header of the ball. And then we brought in a youngster there, Jack Lair. He's 21 years old. He's more a like development player. I mean, he brought him for 300 since 5k. Could make a bit of profit, loaning him out. That type of bit of business. I think I was speaking about him last couple of videos, or last season anyway, that when we was looking at a squad planner, we've got Fraser Foster as a backup goalie. We had Hugo Loris as our main goalie stroke captain. He's getting on a bit. His stats are dwindling. And I just thought, well, looking at his contract, he had one more year left. 
I thought with a transition, let's try and find a goalie who could replace him and put Kane as captain. And this is what we've done. We have gone out and brought Gregor Cabell from Dortmund. Again, mid-age, mid-20s, mid-age, mid-20s, Swiss international, great stats, got a bit of pedigree behind him. Didn't play that well as an average rating for Dortmund. But then again, you look at his conceding rate, 37 and conceded 46. So just over a goal a game. But I liked his stats. He was perfect age group and he's playing a 7.03 for us. He's conceded 21 and he's played 20 games. Clean sheets, 8 out of 20. Not bad for the Premiership. Maybe could be a bit better. But hey, yo, he's for his first season, maybe next season, but we'll see that improvement. So I brought in a goalkeeper, I brought in the centre-back. What else did I need to improve? I really wanted to probably improve my left-back and right-back. We knew that we was bringing in Kelevesky because he had that future transfer fee for 30 million. We did that. Do I just look at youngsters? But to be fair, actually, when I was looking at new fullbacks, they was either too expensive or there was just no one good enough to replace what I've already got. And plus, the ones I got, Sessegnon and... Emerson Royale, nearly forgot his name. They're not bad and they're mid-20s again. And that's what I kind of want to build my team around, that bit of experience. Especially when I've got Kamavinga, I've got Mokioka, I've got these youngsters. So we ended up bringing in Lee Jonas from Liverpool, 19-year-old. I can't believe Liverpool released him. What's my scout saying? Potentially championship player. But I just liked his stats. Determined, composure, tackling. It's a bit slow, but you never know in this game. And then we got Scalvini, 20.5 million. Again, I'm thinking about because Romero and Minje is mid age, I need, uh, I'm always thinking ahead. I'm thinking that if they don't play well, I need a backup anyway. And then secondly, he's probably good enough to come through. And we loaned him back to Atlanta. I mean, his first season in Italy, he played okay. 20 years old, he played 11 games. And then I signed him, but loaned him straight back. So we're looking at the future. We, I always do in Football Manager. I always try and, yes, it's nice to get these new gens, but it's also nice to find players and build your team, your team. Because at that moment, last season, it wasn't my team. It probably wasn't even my team because I didn't make the deal for Kolesvetsky. But what a player. What a player. Winger or a Mezzella. Trust me. If you can buy him, buy him. So any standout players that you might see that we got rid of in the summer, I'll go back a year so that we can just see the beginning of summer. And we got rid of da, 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 Troy Parrott. Got rid of him. He just wasn't good enough as a striker for us. I mean, we Mokioko and then for other striker, which I will point out in a minute, actually. We got rid of Sanchez for 19 million. Parrot for 8.75 million. So last season, our balance was what? We spent just over 110 million. Net. And then this season, again, we've spent a little bit of money. I mean, it's about 8 million net. But who did we sell? So da, 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 let's run through this. Ah, yes, Dane Scarlett. He is the other player who is going to be challenging Mokioko. If I can have him and Mokioko fighting for that striking position, that is going to be fantastic. Is that Bournemouth at the moment? He's not really prolific. That's my only concern. I mean, he's played 23 games and he scored eight goals. But if we go to Rebolt, that again, he's got potential Premier League standard four stars, potentially five stars. Could be a great player. Let's run through here. Ah, oh, yeah, Eric Dyer. We've loaned him out 1.1 million fee as well. And majority of his wages. How is Dyer doing? He's playing all right. A seven. Uh, da, 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 da. We got rid of Sergio Regalion. Regalion. He was out on loan anyway when I came in and he was surplus to requirements. How's he doing? Am I jealous that I got rid of him? He hasn't really played, to be fair. We got rid of Ben Davies. He's playing shocking. He's not playing great at all. 6.61. He was playing okay for us. But again, he just, yeah, it just didn't fit how I wanted to play. Got rid of Harry Winks to out and the UAE team. So out in Middle East for him. Sold him for 7 million. He's playing fantastic, 7.42, you would expect that. And then we loaned Oliver Skip to Bayern Munich, 825k. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to see what's coming up next, subscribe to my channel. If you don't want to miss the next few videos, which we will go through our tactics for season two, and I will go through our results.